What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John with the Game here. Welcome to you guys back to another episode of the Saga Log. In the last episode, we had an Encounters episode. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's essentially where we got other Pokemon that can be added to the team in case of death. Which is very feasible because this game's crazy. But we have Turrant, our Trevenant, with the moves Confused Ray, Trap Kick, Spore, and Throat Chop. We have Needle Queen, yay, with Heat Wave, Shell Side, Arm, Sparkling Aria, and Lands Wrath. We have Tawant with Facade, Strength Sap, Drum Beating, and Glassy, Grassy Gry, Glide. We have Spoopy with Poltergeist, Energy Ball, Guava Apple, and Leaf Blade. And then we have Fruition with Spectral Thief, Shadow Ball, Rising Voltage, and Waterfall. And then we have Dollar General with Poison Sting, Hail, Fake Out, and Ice Fang. That is our current team at the current moment. Um, honestly, I don't know necessarily how to feel about this team. This team is kind of rough um, to be around, but it is the currency of the team. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some items to some of my Pokemon, because I think my Pokemon are going to really appreciate having it. Um... So yeah, so I'm I definitely like I said I'm very very nervous with how this can go. This could go horribly wrong. It could go just fine, and we will never know until it happens. Um, can I? No, that's not how that works. Um, X by type. Aha! That's what I wanted. Okay, cool. I did I did something that I didn't think I could do. Okay, that's cool. Um Hmm. <sighs> these wiki or these petra berries, honestly, I'm gonna do that. Hedge of berries sound like a good idea, just in case. Not use. Give. And then the Rost or the Chesto. I'll give a Chesto to Spoopy, if I, just in case I use Spoopy and it tries to, they try and Resto Chesto me. But today, we are going to be taking on our very first gym, and that is extremely nerve-wracking. Because we have not fought a gym yet. So this is going to be our very first gym. Um, so to kind of explain how gyms work. Here is what happens. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, as gyms work, every single Pokemon. Um, oh, I can't even talk today. Oh no. Brain. Every single gym leader, there we go, will have six Pokemon. That's what I was looking for. And it should be their final Pokemon will go ahead and give us a drum roll, please. Dynamax Pokemon. And the Dynamax Pokemon is level 10, which means it will have the maximum that it can have. Which, not gonna lie is quite scary but it is what it is and there's well nothing we can do about it so let's get into this and see what is gonna happen welcome gym challenger allow me to help you through your registration first things first here's a quick refresher about the gym challenge your goal of the gym challenge is to complete each gym leader's mission eat def defeat gym every gym leader gather all eight gym badges got it okay would you like to attempt this gym mission sure please change into your uniform now, you'll be able to get new uniforms based off of the gyms you completed. So, then let's this gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. Now, <sighs> I'm nervous. Because this could go terribly wrong. But there are a few trainers in here, and I don't think you have to fight the trainers in this, but I'm going to... I, I feel like I want to. I just don't want to over-level is my problem, but honestly, our levels are fine enough. I don't think we would be over-leveling. The mission given by the Turfield Pokemon Gym is this. Chase our unruly Wooloo. 
to the blockade we've made for uh, from our bales of straw over there. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as the referee, and it is also my job to report the results to battle of battles to League HQ. Now let the training begin. Congratulations, you can now proceed. Okay, this battle is not, this battle is a forced battle. That's good that they actually have forced battles in this gym. I was worried that they weren't going to, so. That makes me actually happy that they do. Gym trainer Samuel with the score bunny. Look at you go with your little score bunny, buddy. Score bunny is definitely not the Pokemon I want to be fighting. Actually, fire types in general are just an oof for me. As I have to use freaking yay, because of course I do. What? Using yay could never. Definitely not my most used freaking Pokemon on the team. Ooh, overheat. I was waiting for the Contrary boost. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that's going to happen at some point. We're going to just get a Contrary boost and it's going to be like, Oh yeah, so I can't kill this thing. Also, we did decide, like I told you guys before, that I wanted to be about two and a half levels above the Gym Trainer. When we get there, his level's 18, or 20. So, yeah. So we are fit in that range, which is good. That's what I was hoping that we could achieve, so I'm glad we did. Doesn't the Yamper change their direction? It does. I thought it did. I'm glad I'm not ultimately crazy about... Because, yeah, I was like, I swore it did, but... Okay, final puzzle. Multiple yampers, a gym trainer in the middle of it. No, oh my gosh. To be fair, I do want to fight that trainer. So I will be fighting her because she's got, I think she's got three Pokemon, but I want to complete this before I do that. This might be a mistake, but. Congratulations, they are now in their cages. Okay, let me fight this girl, um, and then we'll get on with the gym, because that's basically the sole purpose of today's episode, so. Switch. I want to want in the front. I want, because I, I want another level 23, preferably, if I can get it. So yeah, let's fight this chick. Hi, you should have three Pokemon, and I really hope you do. The gym leader lies ahead. Oh my gosh. Lotad. Lotad ain't a problem. I'm fine with that. I'm very fine with that. Grassy... Poor Lotad. This poor Lotad just literally murked itself. I have priority now. Thank you for the priority plus the healing. I do appreciate both of them. Garchomp. Honestly, I'm going to stay in. That seems like the play. Drought. Oh. Okay. I still think staying in is the play because I have the priority. Nature's Madness. Ooh. Okay. That's a really good fairy type attack. That automatically drops my HP to half. 
Not bad. Unfortunately for this Garchomp, the low tad actually screwed it over. Bye, Garchomp. Thank you, low tad, for giving me priority. So, Grassy Glide, how that move works is if I am in Grassy Terrain, which got set up for me, Gla Grassy Glide has plus one priority and I am able to just outspeed whatever. Um, so I have a move that lowers speed and a possible plus one priority move. So that's what I like about uh, Tarant so far, or not Tarant, Tawant so far, um, is that honestly Tawant is a very good Pokemon when it comes to that, being able to do that. So, we'll be taking on our first gym challenge, and this could go horribly wrong or totally fine. I don't know which one we're gonna get. So, I hope we get totally fine, but horribly wrong also seems fair. Um, I'm gonna leave with Tawant, um, and hope that a fire type is not the lead. Gym mission has been cleared. Our first gym challenge. My gym challenge is the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I keep my gym missing challenging, but that didn't stop you from completing it, John. Proper job. Seems, sure, or sure seems you like understand Pokemon really well. It's going to be a doozy of a Pokemon battle, but I'll have Dynamax Pokemon on my side if I want. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Yeah, that's your major advantage over me. I'm not allowed to Dynamax. You are. And it could be anything. This is the first time you guys get to hear this music, too. That is the one thing about Sword and Shield. It has really good music. Muna is what you're going to lead with. So you're starting off easy. Okay, I'm down with that. I am okay with you starting off easy. Frisk? Okay, you've caught that. I have a Petra Berry. In the Galar region, Pokemon are far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Dynamax button when you want the, your Dynamax band to light up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to use that now. <sighs> okay. Dude, this music's going to freaking distract me. Which is, again, part of the point. Uh, I'm going to go with the other Toronto. This could be bad, but... Yeah, I'm going with the other Toronto. Play it safe. See what this thing has. Come on. First move it's going to pop out with is a freezing glare. What is that move? I don't even know what that move is. It's... Oh my god, is that actually Galarian Articuno's, like, signature move? Why do I feel like that's Galarian Articuno's signature move? This, uh, this is how we start a gym battle, guys. I just, you know, get frozen instantly. Thank gosh I have ice heals to prepare for this, but... This is not a good start. Acid armor. Oh my gosh. Muna actually being thick, though. Okay. You won't be able to use sound based moves. Acid armor again. Okay. So you're guaranteed living 
another one now. Hmm. I'm going to put you to sleep, actually. I could have done that to begin with, but... I only use think of Spore as, like, a move that helps with catching. <laughs> I don't typically think about Spore actually using it strategically. Just, you know, the great ideas from me. Um... Hmm, I don't have Strength Tap anymore. Strength Tap would have come in actually fruitful there. Hmm. I mean, the fact that you did that with a Muna and put me on the ropes with a Muna scares me for this fight. What do you got next? Sensino. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Stan, actually. Sensino is fast. But Sensino will struggle under the uh, under the guise of lowering its attack. Ooh, it's going to lower mine and counteract that. Hmm. You just stole my berry. My citrus berry is gone. Crap. Okay. He's making smart plays and I hate it. <laughs> because now I'm forced to swap on this, aren't I? At least I feel that I am. Ooh, you popped that quite early. You might have gluttony. Okay, come on, Fruition. Fruition also learned Shadow Ball during grinding, which I think I talked about. I don't know if I talked about Fruition's moves, but... Yeah, we have Shadow Ball now on Lunala, so that's cool. Also, I'm stupid. He's revealed thief, and I just swapped into a Pokemon that's quad weak to that. Um. I've got to say, go for it, right? I have to, essentially. Weak armor, and you took away my leftovers. No, you can't, because I already have my stuff. Wait, it actually worked? Oh, because he ate the citrus berry! Oh my god! He stole two of my items with his since he know. Are you kidding me? You've got to be joking. This man already took two of my items. Luckily, I get that back when the battle ends, I hope. Tarant's level 24. Wants to learn Shadow Claw. Um, I'm going to go over that. Over Confuse right with that. Shadow Claw's a good move for me. I'll take that. Toxicroak is next. This That's a yay. Yay needs to take care of this. Once I see that level 20, things get scary. Okay. Things are okay for now. I gotta remember innards out is a thing though, because I am playing carelessly, forgetting about innards out. Okay. Level 23 and Ye has reached level 24. Wooper. That I don't care about to want. I actually almost wanted to swap into Ivysaur just because we have, don't use Ivysaur very often. And that would have been a perfect opportunity. Wooper is not the ace. Okay. 
so far so good. Critical hit didn't matter. Okay, so far so good. Unfazant. Hmm. Fruition. I wanted to play it safe and go with EA, but Fruition guaranteed Okos. Unless it's the Ace, and then I'm in trouble. It is not the Ace. Okay, so he's preserving the Ace, which is what he's supposed to do, but... Or, what we, excuse me, what we thought he was supposed to do. Ooh, that's not an Oko. Okay, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have anything to hit me. No way he wouldn't have not, or would have tried to not hit me if... He would have tried to hit me if he had a way to reasonably hit me. Okay. What is the Dinah? What is the Dinah? Dynamax Porygon Z. Okay, buddy. That's not what we want to see. Who is the best equipped to deal with a Dynamax Porygon Z? Is it impervious to sleep, or can I make it waste its Dyna for sleep? I need to test that theory. Oh, but that's scary, though. It's such a good theory to test, though. But I also gotta think that that Porygon could... It's a Porygon Z with a 145 base special attack that can whap the fuck out of me. But I also can't let it get so many stat boosts to be crazy either. But I can't use Spectre Thief because it's a Porygon. Oh my god, it's actually a really good freaking Dynamax for... <sighs> I'm gonna go with Ye. I have to go with Ye. It almost feels forced at that point to go with the aim. Whoa, we're not getting gonna be done in that easy. <sighs> okay. So the Dyna really can be anything. I'm gonna go with Shell Sidearm to begin. Come on, then. It's Dynamax time. You're about to be uprooted. Dude, this thing could be bad. It's a, it's a very bad situation for us to be in personally. Simply because it's a Borgon Z. That massive special attack stat throwing its body into me is... Mm. Please, yay. No, that's what I expected. That was even a crit. Ah, but we got the poison. Ooh. Okay, max strike. Ah. Oh my god. And this is why we trained up the way we did, by the way, y'all. Like, that is exactly why. Because under normal circumstances, that range of health is death, by the way. So, yay would have actually killed in normal circumstances, which is why we did what we did. Um, because otherwise, I would be training to lower levels and being like, oh my god, I'm, I'm worried, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, that, that that's exactly why. Plus, if I try and use Protect or Protect Stall, that does not mother freaking matter. Because it's... I'm gonna go with fruition. And 
and hope it max strikes again. Hmm. I'm thinking it's going to hit me with a not max strike. Oh, it hit me with max strike again. Okay, well that confirms that that is a special attacking thing, though. So whatever it's been hitting me with, it's a special attack thing. Yawn. Weird. Okay. I was on a Dynamax for fun, but that's against the rules. Um... He really does not know what to do. He th he just was he was done. He gave up. Okay. Well, good job, good job, Dollar General. Um, we have completed our first gym. That Dynamax thing was scary, so I'm glad we did what we did. Um, because that pretty much assures that we will not be able to Oko a Dynamax Pokemon, and so we gotta hope that the Dynamax is not scary. But also, the beauty of the Dynamax is the last three turns, figuring out a way to finagle that is obviously possible. But we have snagged the Grass Gym. We got Magical Leaf to commemorate our victory. And a grass uniform. So we can look just like Milo, but not as well. Some advice. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. Does so that mean that the next stop should be Holoberry to meet Nessa just beyond Route 5? Or, since you have the grassy badge, you can head to the wild area. But it's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than the Pokemon on your team. But make, they make for powerful allies if you succeed. Um, yeah, but first things first, uh, we're buying freaking super potions now that we can. Hi, super potions. We need you guys. So, glad that you guys exist. Um, but yeah, we got a Route 5 encounter and we got to head to Nessa. We're not going to fight Nessa in this episode, but Nessa is an objective. Because literally... Our situation at this point is Route 5, Turfield. I think we have a hot battle coming up soon. And then literally Nessa. It's just... It's like, okay. We don't need to fight Nessa that quickly. But also, Nessa's level cap is like 27. So we do have to fight her that quickly. Because her gym actually has quite a bit of trainers in it too. So literally, it's just zoom right there. And we'll do that in this episode. Because, well, why not? It's been like a 25-minute episode as is and it's really yeah this is where we fight hop if i recall co correctly hops like hey buddy oh wait no he's not oh but this double battle's like hey buddy how are you <laughs> well we had to fight something <laughs> wasn't wrong about that um dude i'm so curious we're getting to that point again oh boy Well, I know who's getting swapped out. Let's just say that much. Yay. 
we appreciate you a ton. But, you know, this thing called not dying also we appreciate, so. We'll go in with double grass and see how that fares. Okay, where, how's the Palkia gonna do? Muddy Water. Oh, that's not bad. Tarant, it missed Tarant. But it would have hit Yay, so... Wow, that... Oh, no, it would have hit... Having Tarant and Tawant is so confusing. Okay, that's good. That'll lower his speed. So that Tawant hopefully can put it to sleep first. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. I don't think Tarant would have put it to sleep first otherwise. You know what's crazy that I'm thinking about? Is that if I have, like, a paralysis or something, then I can actually utilize that to my advantage. That's kind of crazy to think about. Like, that doesn't seem like something you should be able to use to your advantage, but here we are. Um, also, what I'm going to do a lot of, with the training, if I have to train, is train on trainers because I can, like, flip-flop and team box stuff, which is what I'm going to have. What the heck? Palkias, what you doing? Andrachis? Um, no, stop following me, Pokemons. No, 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 I can't catch any of you. That's literally not how this works. There we go. Our actual encounter, Route 5, is also another fairy type. Alcreme. Also, that is not my catching Pokemon. What do you do with the actual Tarant? Hmm. I'll be honest, no idea what to feel about this Pokemon. What I do know about this Pokemon is it's not a bad Pokemon. It's just used awkwardly. But it is cool that we're finally getting fairies. It took long enough, but we are. You know what? Let's try and make a happy Alcream, eh? Cool. I didn't think it was going to be that hard to catch, so I'm glad it was not wrong. I have a name for it, actually. I think it's kind of a cute name, but... I'm going to name it Buttercup. What are we naming Buttercup? Buttercup, what do you have? Another freaking thing that I can't use. Strong Jaw. Blue Flare. Misty Explosion, which is a thing that we cannot use because it literally murders us. Um, Aromatic Mist, which is good in double. Okay. Not bad. Okay, I want that. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. It was one of those, I should I get that? I don't want to get that, but also I should probably get that kind of a thing. Yeah. Wow, it's level 20. Excuse me. No bueno. Heal balls. We'll take that. Oh, I ran right into that gloom. That was my own fault. I wanted the oatmeal, okay? It's oatmeal, guys. I need oatmeal. Oatmeal is love. Oatmeal is life. Can't use it, though. So, sadly, Oatmeal, I'm sorry. Oh, also, Palkia's tail is large and in charge, but I'm glad we didn't run into anything with it. Okay. So, Hop, I swear, battles you at some point, right? 
And is that an egg? Why do I feel like that? Oh, yes, it is. It is the... I know what this is. So, this is another one of those Pokemon... This one apparently is already randomized. Cool. I'm not gonna complain. I'm fine with that. Okay. Wish cash. Oh, this must be considered a gift because I actually did um, do that. I actually did all the gift Pokemon and the Pokemon that you receive as a gift are all randomized. Okay. I don't mind. I don't mind a wish cash. I mean, the fact that I didn't even... <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I don't have to use the random number generator. Yeah, no, John, you actually prepared yourself with the gift Pokemon because you could, and it was reasonable because it was 12 Pokemon. Okay, so we got a wish cache. Um, cool. I'm going to name you... I'm gonna name you whale about because where's your whale abouts? Oh my god. Okay, whale about. What is your summary? You are level one. Cute charm. Of course you do. <laughs> With lands, wrath, shockwave, hydro cannon, and waterfall. Why is that actually a really good move set? And why are you actually really usable? <laughs> tox, tox. Take these two. What are they? Oh. I'm okay with that. These you get from max raid battles. I know. Thank you for the 500 XP. That like gets it to level 5, but okay. Hop on the bridge. Okay, well, we'll save hop on the bridge Um, for the next episode because, yeah, that's a perfect thing to leave off on. We have this, and then we have a fight with hop and team yell, and then Nessa. It, it's going to be a doozy. We have probably two episodes before that because this whole long freaking path is Route 5, guys. This entire path is Route 5. So, yeah, we have this through the bridge, then more Route 5, and then the whole berry. Um, so, yeah, honestly, we'll see you guys in the next episode. I don't think we're going to have much training to do if nothing collapses cataclysmically. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!